we've had the joy again this summer of having interns here at Crossroads, and uh, we're about to meet one of them. Natalie Sazulik is uh, here from Oakville, graduate of Sheridan College, and that's how we get our students, right? Yeah. Through the college <laughs> programs. You've been working with our reporters, Natalie. I have. I have working with Cheryl Weber, and it's been great. It's been a really good experience. I Fun. Think, I think it's <laughs> infected you just a little bit. Just, just just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be neat. We'll tell in a minute where you're going to be going this summer and what you're going to be doing with your time. Mm -hmm. But your life passion, uh, next to the Lord himself, are Circle Square Ranches. Yeah. Where did that start in your journey? Uh, when I was young, when I was nine years old, um, my dad decided to take Natalie, me. Natalie, you're still young. I okay, just when I was really point. little, when okay. I was like a baby, <laughs> um, I was uh, I went to Brantford Circle Square Ranch. As a shy kid, a week at camp seemed somewhat petrifying. I didn't really like horses, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do in that week. But my dad took me, and you know, I I just fell in love with it. It's just something about the ranches. I just absolutely fell in love with it. And from nine years old, um, I decided that I was not only going to go to camp every year, I was going to become a DIT, I was going to become a staff. And then I... A DIT? Disciple in training. Mm -hmm. um, someone who goes to the camps for two weeks and learns to become a staff. You go through that training process, and I did that in 2005. And then from there, um, I became basically an alumni staff, which means you've been to the ranch for a very long time. <laughs> you become family. I want to show some of the pictures you've provided. Okay. Uh, just a little taste of uh, Natalie through the years at the ranch. This is at Arden Ranch. Yes, that's at Arden Ranch. Um, we play an awesome game called Tube of Fun, which is you make the arena soaking wet, and you get the kids to put a tube in the middle of the mud, and uh, everyone has a number, and you go into the arena, grab a tube, and you just get completely drenched in mud. You're right I'm in the I'm in the middle, yeah. With two arms <laughs> down, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, this year I was uh, the rec director at Arden and I uh, painted that space scene and one of the theme meals at nighttime. We have theme meals every, every dinner time was space. And I was the Milky Way and the kids in the front were all aliens and it's fun. Now, now uh, because my daughter has some history with the ranch too, um, do the kids come with costumes ready for these they, theme meals and other adventures? Some kids who have been there for a few years have. Um, like in this picture they've brought a few of the glasses and stuff like that but it's basically just creativity you can be a superhero with the towel and uh, that's Muck the staff on Thursdays the staff go out into the okay um, which one are you I'm on the right with the hat of the pie on the head and what <laughs> what is actually on your face there? um it's it's smuck which they like to call so sometimes it's creative and usually it's whipped cream, but um, if you don't hide in the boundaries, you get like special smuck, oh. which you don't know what it is, and you really don't want that. Mm. But uh, it's so fun. I, we live for it. You dress up in like army clothes and you hide and like you really don't want to be caught. And uh, you always get caught because it's fun. You know, Bill Bray here, just to the right of the camera, before we began, said, you know, one of the things he appreciates most about Circle Square it, they really allow the kids to be wild. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, appropriately. I guess that's mm -hmm. got some very large boundaries. But you say you were such a shy child. <laughs> this was so intimidating mm -hmm. for you, first visit. What, what happened? What happened? What worked? Um, you just, you don't want to say you get let off the leash, but like you just completely find yourself at camp. You get to do whatever you want. Um, in the boundaries of whomever you want and you have like a time of tuck time where you just get to be yourself and when a child gets to be themselves completely doing whatever they want when they're young is you just find who you want to be and you find your courage and you find your confidence because you don't need to be quiet anymore because you find your friends and you can go and like run off a trampoline or dive off a lake because camp has given you that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now, spiritually, there are some markers in the journey for you as well. Oh, for sure. Tell us about it. I would not be the Christian I am today without Circle Square Ranch. You know, I was like, I was trying to explain it to someone. Um, 
if you've never been to camp, it's hard to explain. It's like if you've never been to, on a missions trip, it's hard to explain that experience. You know, Circle Square Ranch has something. It has something that when you're a staff and you go there and you're exhausted and you have bug bites all over your body and you're sunburnt, Circle Call Square Ranch. Call and sign up today. Yeah, but it has <laughs> that something that makes you want to go back. And has that something that every staff comes back every year, no matter what they've been through, they go back. It has that something that, that one, when a camper comes for one week, just one week in their entire life, they talk about their experience for that entire year. Circle Square Ranch has that something that when parents take their kids to camp, they, they know that they're going to be okay. They, it has that something that they know that their kids going to be safe. And when you realize that when you go to camp and you experience that something, you realize that Circle Square Ranch is something is Jesus Christ. You talk about um, why go back. I mean, yeah. I read this with the rapt attention because I lose my daughter every summer mm -hmm. to Circle Square Ranch. She's the uh, co-coordinator this year of both the day camp and junior camp great. at Brantford. And um, you say, why go back? To put it simply, it becomes your home. You wake up every morning and go to sleep every evening with the same people. You eat together, clean together, pray together. You live side by side, day after day, the entire summer. And I love this line. You say, you're so close, you know what their favorite shirt is, even which pants are dirty. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's community, isn't it? It's family. It's absolutely family. And where you've gone to school and maybe where some of these children have been prior to the summer, um, is not necessarily that safe or perhaps uh, of like mind and heart community. Absolutely. You, you don't find any other place like it. There's nothing like going to camp. And I don't know how to tell someone, like, you just, you just, you need camp. You need that experience because if you don't go, you miss out, you know? Like, you can always go back as staff and you can relive those years, but as a camper, it's, it's your prime, you know? You, you really want to, you want to go, you want, you want that experience for the rest of your life, because I know, I know even when I talk to, like, people who are older who have kids, that's, I remember when I went to camp, I remember that experience, and it was just, it's just amazing. You actually rededicated your life at one camp. Mm -hmm, I did. One summer. Um, just a, a sign of your maturing in Christ, mm -hmm. wanting more of all he had for you. What did you take at Sheridan? What did you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> you know what I, I took, mean? I know. <laughs> After all that, um, I went to Sheridan College and I, and I took broadcast journalism and graduated with broad, broadcast journalism. And um, my hopes is to work with Circle Square Ranch and to be able to travel and um, do media for Circle Square Ranch so everyone in Canada and farther than Canada can realize and have this experience that I've had. So this really has become your, your life and career mm -hmm. mission. Mm -hmm. It really has. Wow. Little did I know, nine years old, when I, like, I know when I was little, I did not want to go to camp at first. I remember even when I was a little bit older, I think I was 11, I remember going to Arden and my dad dropped me off at Arden and something happened where I was like, you know what, I'm not feeling it this week, can I go back home? And when I was like, no, like, you like, God wants you here. You're going to be here. And at that time, when you're 11, you're like, no, 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 no. Like, I don't want to. Don't leave me here. And he was like, honestly, it's going to be okay. And that ended up being the best week of my life. And I couldn't imagine what would have happened to me if I went home that week. Oh. And I, I wouldn't have gone back. And I, I don't know. That's going to encourage some parents who are about to do just that. Yeah. Drop their maybe a little trepidatious children. Of course. Off at camp for the first time. It's always getting out of your comfort zone, but you find your way.